Announced this week by Digital Extremes, the developer behind Warframe was a new free-to-play action MMORPG called Soulframe. Soulframe is a third-person sci-fi shooter and the next IP from the Warframe developer, which was announced at Telecon 2022 this week. Its inspirations are drawn from the likes of Princess Mononoke, set in a fantasy world with nature, restoration and exploration as its main influences. As seen from the trailer, the game has a combination of fantasy, sci-fi and natural elements, quite the stark contrast from Extreme's fast-paced shooter Warframe. Soulframe will also focus on melee combat. The visuals so far look very stunning. If you want to know more about the game, we have a Soulframe preview, so be sure to check that out. As with all news in this video, the link is in the description below. New World will be bringing some summer fun to the MMO with the Summer Medley Fair. Described as a celebration that radiates summer fun, the concept art shared shows some colourful visuals including a performance stage fit for a bard. The theme is inspired by both pirates and music, so New World players are in for a festive treat. Expect musical games, fishing and a chance to unlock new items and starter instruments. The exact date for the event has not been released, but it will be coming soon and that could possibly be later this month. However, if you can't wait, you can get an early peek by experiencing it on the public test realm right now. Not only will there be the medley fair to keep you busy, but a new barnacle and black powder expedition, this time putting players against the Admiral Black Powder and his crew. New World is currently available on PC, you can drop by our New World wiki for all the latest info. Square Enix's latest trailer for Stranger of the Paradise Final Fantasy Origin previewed the DLC Trials of the Dragon King, which released this week. The downloadable content coming to The Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is the first of the three expansions coming to the game. Trials of the Dragon King will bring new jobs, weapons, accessories and a new category of weapon that is teased to blast away through all the new areas according to the official listing page. Included in the DLC is the new job Summoner, who can summon Bahamut into battle. Another new job is the Evoker. Evokers can use their job action to evoke or to summon a spirit in battle for backup. Lastly, the Pilgrims use an assault hook to grab enemies from afar. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is available now on PlayStation 5, PlayStation Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC via the Epic Games Store. Dead Cells fans will need to prepare themselves as Motion Twin are not done yet when it comes to new content for the challenging pixel-infused Metrovania. 2023 will be by far the biggest year since its initial launch according to the studio. The developer released an updated roadmap that teased what's on the horizon reaching into 2023. This will mark the most exciting year in Dead Cells history, which is a big statement. After looking at what the team has released so far, following that statement only grows the anticipation for what will happen next for the game. They already promised back in March of this year, right around the time the free Break the Bank update was released, that there was at least a year of content ahead. So this means that they are alive and kicking. The robot teaser is an exciting year for 2023, but winter still has a surprise or two with new stuff also teased for this season. Dead Cells is available on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, iOS and Android. Now for some new game news. Frozen Frame is an upcoming survival RPG. The leader of Fravenage recently had some exclusive interviews that shed light on some of their development principles. The game is a survival RPG taking place in the fictional world of Arcana, the founder of Dreamside Interactive, Serge Corolla, recently shared some tidbits about the game. Originally, Frozen Flame started out as a survival game, with Rust and Ark survival evolved as inspirations. However, this later changed as Corolla wanted to steer the direction less towards the survival side and more toward exploration and narrative. This won't have hardcore mechanics such as hunger and thirst. Survival will come more from creating lodging and arming yourself properly. There will be two different game modes as well, so if you prefer to survive with up to 10 friends, you can do that, as well as there will be a more narrative side for good measure. Next is the pure survival mode, which will have PvP and even more hardcore gameplay settings. Also, there are dragons. While they won't be common, say, compared with Skyrim, they will be rare finds as they seem a little endangered, so if you do run into one, it will be much more impactful. Frozen Flame is planned to release for early access sometime in fall of 2022. Lost Ark got a whole load of new details for their July update, another MMORPG getting some summer activities. The game is also getting some improvements when it comes to endgame as honing is seeing some changes. Tier 1 and Tier 2 will gain 100% honing success rates, additionally players hones will cause 2 levels up instead of 1 between gear levels 1 through 11. The summer event for Lost Ark is called the Waterpop Arena where players will work in teams to blast other opponents with powerful water guns. 
As the game progresses, the platform that players stand on will shrink, akin to Fall Guys. This should be some exciting ballside action for Lost Ark. Of course, there are fun summer cosmetics to gain by taking part. To learn more about the upcoming changes, event, Panica Power Pass, head to our Fetch Life website. It's been some time since there has been an update on the upcoming sequel, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride for the game as it got delayed and halted its pre-orders last year after the studio developing the game was changed. The game has seen its release pushed in order to create a worthy successor. But be rest assured Masquerade fans, as the CEO of Paradox, Frederick Wester has reaffirmed that the show must go on when it comes to development and it's in good hands. Since the new studio developing the game took on the project, publisher Paradox hasn't really shared much other than they're happy with the progress and the release date seems to be quite some time away though. If you were hoping to see more of the game at PDXCon, well I have some bad news for you. Wester has also shared it would not be spotlighted this time around. They did share that they will show more when the game is ready. While this update is on the smaller side, it's good to hear at least something after the radio silence. And finally, a big announcement this week, which was a previously PlayStation exclusive Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, was revealed to be coming to PC this August 12th. While not strictly an RPG, we thought it'd be worth a mention this week as the game does contain some RPG elements. Spider-Man needs no real introduction, but just in case, the game will feature an action-packed story following the life of Peter Parker, who fights crime and villains as New York's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The remastered version includes the DLC The City That Never Sleeps, which contains three story chapters and additional missions as well as challenges. Previously, the PlayStation exclusive was released on PlayStation 5 roughly two years ago. This time, the title will be coming to PC with ultra-wide monitor support, panoramic ratio support, and will be compatible with Nvidia's surround multi-monitor setups, so you can enjoy the web-slinging action with plenty of options. As for enhanced visuals, the game will feature unlocked frame rates, improved shadows and ray trace reflections so you can experience every detail. It also supports DLSS and DLAA, boosting frame rates and image quality for those on GeForce RTX graphics cards. You can also play with a PlayStation DualSense controller on PC or with keyboard and mouse with input support for remapping keys on Steam. If you're interested to gain some pre-order bonuses such as the three Spidey costumes, Spider Drone gadget and five extra skill points, be sure to pre-order before launch on August 12th. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids and general wiki goodness.